Hello, this is a free call from me, an inmate at the Orange County Corrections. To accept this free call, press zero. To and I can't even begin to think if this gets out on the internet or the, the news. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telink. How are you? All right. What's going I'm sure, on? I'm sure you already know. Yeah, a little bit. Ron, you called Dylan, so. Yeah. So, I mean, whatever. I'm going to sue. So, um, we were doing a funeral escort, and... I mean, I can tell you the whole backstory. You don't. I mean, you can either believe me or not. It's up to you. I don't care. So there was a sergeant. There was a sergeant with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. I filed an internal event investigation and affairs with it on him a long time ago. No. Uh, he knew who I was. He gave me a hard time back when we first started. He got chastised. Got suspended. Long story short, I don't know what happened. I don't know why he left Orange County, but he left Orange County. He got a job at Windermere as a sergeant. <laughs> so mm-hmm. giving a funeral escort. We're doing the we're at the roundabout right by the school there, um, and I pull into the uh, the escort's already going through. I pull into it, hit my air horn, not even the siren, just my air horn, because we already saw a Windermere police car on a traffic stop. So we all were behaving. So another unit pulls up, drives over the median, drives over the wrong way, and just sits there and looks at us. So we're all like, okay, well, we just move on. We keep going. Right. We leave that roundabout. Do you know that area? Do you know where the roundabout is? Yeah, by the I pool? know where the school okay. is, yeah. Uh-huh. We're already at the cemetery in Winter Garden, and they're coming, lights and sirens, opposite direction, racing up the road. Uh-huh. Okay? They pass two patrol vehicles. They pass Recycle, Allen, and Stutters. They pass three of four of my guys. Yeah. He comes up to the intersection. The funeral's already in it. I'm in this intersection right at the cemetery. Right. He hops out of the car. I don't know who it is at first. I don't know who it is. He hops out of the car, and as soon as I see him, he goes, hey, Jeremy Duet, how are you doing? I've missed you. I was like, oh, Sergeant, I missed you too. I haven't seen you with Orange County for a while. Because now we're bantering back and forth being dicks. Right. We know what time it is. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I've missed you, so I've been looking for you. That's exactly mm-hmm. what he fucking said on my body. And he's like, oh, I missed you, so I came and got a job here. That's exactly what he said on my body camera. Well, you know, I've missed you, so I've been looking for you. That's exactly mm-hmm. what he fucking said. Oh, I missed you, so I came and got a job here. That's exactly what he said on my body camera. Said on my body camera. Do you have camera. the video? I yeah. do. On my I bought, well, it's in their possession. So if it gets deleted, then, but if it doesn't yeah. get deleted, I do have it. God is my witness. And he's like, you need to pull your motorcycle over and get out of the intersection. I was like, well, Sergeant, I said, I hear you. I said, I have a funeral going. I said, as you can clearly see, do me a favor. Just give me a few seconds, and I'll go ahead and move the bike. He's like, I need you to move your motorcycle now. And I was like, listen, Sergeant, unless you're going to put one of those patrol vehicles in this intersection to control my funeral, where there, because there was cars at the intersection right. waiting to go, I said, then I'll move for you. Not a problem. He's like, whatever. So he turns around, and he gets on the radio, and he's calling for backup. So here come Allen, Recycle, Stutters, and the other unit. Four units, they drive by me with their lights on and their air horns going. He doesn't say anything to them. The funeral goes by. He's like, okay, now move your bike. So I move my bike, park it, get off. And he's like, so he's like, "Uh, your motorcycle's stolen. I was like, what? What? My motorcycle's not fucking stolen. I have the registration right here on my phone. Before I could even touch my phone, he yanks my arms aggressively, and I have a very – I actually have a tear in my shoulder from the accident. Um, And he cuffed me and gave me to the other officer and said his motorcycle is (laughs) stolen. They jam me against the car, and then they start stripping me of my gear. 
I'm telling, I'm telling the sergeant, I have the registration on my phone. What are you doing? This is still, my, I'm still wearing my helmet. My body camera's still rolling. And he's like, I don't care what you have. Your bike is stolen. At that point, I tell my units, get back here now with your body cameras on. Get back to the scene. So they come back. They get out of their vehicles, and they surround the scene with their body cameras on. The sergeant says, if you don't go away, I'm going to arrest you now. So he forces them to leave. They jam me on the car, and he's he's questioning me about the motorcycle, saying it's stolen. I was like, Sergeant, I can prove to you it's not Sergeant. Every time he, he asks me a question, I turn to talk to him, and then the other officer puts me back on the car. But then the sergeant thinks it's funny, and he keeps asking me questions. So I keep turning to talk to him, and then the guy pushes me on the car. Jesus. Sergeant, I can tell you right now everything's being videotaped on my body cam, Sergeant. Okay, you're, you're so, a that's not a firearm, Sergeant. Let's go. That's a less lethal, Sergeant. Oh, so legally for the per Florida statute, okay. I'm allowed to carry that, Sergeant. That. 970. Go ahead and look it up, Sergeant. The vehicle's not stolen, Sergeant. I have the registration for the vehicle, Sergeant. I have the registration for the vehicle, Sergeant. Sergeant, get your lieutenant, please. There is no lieutenant. I'm then in. get a captain. There is no captain. Then I'm get in. Get somebody that ranks you, Sergeant. Nobody I have outranks, the man. very valid registration, Sergeant, that shows the state of Florida gave me the registration and that tag. The the tag was stolen off another motorcycle. That motorcycle was stolen. We were given the tag back by Orange County Sheriff's Office. And then that tag was given to us by the Department of Motor Vehicles, Sergeant. Why well, you have handcuffs? Make sure you have your body cameras running. Body cameras are running. Why do you have handcuffs? I'm not talking to you, officer. Okay. I have the registration for that vehicle, Sergeant. on this scene with their body cameras rolling. Roger. I didn't even pass on a double yellow. I stayed with inside the double yellow, which is legal for us in the state of Florida, per Florida escort. I can pull the statute as well. Get with him and explain to him that's less lethal and per Florida statute 960, we can have that. He's saying we I stole the bike. But it's registered to the company. Don't walk over here, stay over there. Sergeant, I can prove the registration. Stay, over there. stay against the car. Sergeant, stay over there. We're not walking over here. Sergeant, I can prove the yes. registration. As soon as we prove it, then you'll be released. Oh, okay. But you're 15 in me and you're holding me here in front of all these people. We could have done this professionally, not like children. Just because you don't like me and you have a history with me doesn't authorize you to treat me like shit. I treat you like shit. You are, Sergeant. Let's go, everybody can move on. No, no, they're 12 with me, just like your officers would be no. if you needed help. Thank you, no. No, no, they're, they're staying with her or my order. Stay against hey, the Hey, officers, car. I'm getting this all on video camera. What do you have a vest on? And I can promise you, I can promise you, this isn't going to go the way you're planning. Officer, I have my body camera on. That's not, so what, just leave my helmet off for right now, sorry, officer. Officer. I'm taking it off. Okay. So, so now... They cuffed me. Well, I'm already in the cuffs. They've stripped everything off me, my helmet and everything, okay? They say my motorcycle's stolen. They shove me in the car, okay? About an hour goes by. They come back. You in the day. car there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they towed my bike. They've already towed it. They, they towed me. your bike. Oh, yeah. So, wait, it gets better. They come to me and they say, oh, we're sorry. You're right. Your bike's not stolen. Florida called us back and said it's not. But you were resisting the police officer, and we're arresting you for resisting arrest. And I'm like, what? 
I never resisted arrest. You, you pulled everything off of me, and I never pulled away from you. How did I resist arrest? They're like, you called back up for your officers, and you kept turning and talking to the sergeant. I was like, because he kept asking me questions. They're like, we're booking you for uh, resisting arrest. It gets better. They start taking all pictures of everything. And now they're charging me with impersonating a police officer. They said because I was standing in the intersection doing what I was doing in uniform, I was impersonating. No, wait, let me rephrase that. I should read what they said. They said because I was wearing a shirt with a badge-like and a helmet with a badge-like logo, I was impersonating a police officer. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I'm yelling, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been dealing with Orange County, FHP, OPD, on and on. I said, I want your lieutenant now or a captain now. And he told me, I'm not giving you anything. I refuse. I was like, I want your supervisor now. They're refusing. So they, I just read the report, and they said that I pulled into the intersection, and then I went down the road, and they saw me cross the yellow line. So then they said they pulled me over. But that's not true. They pulled me over all the way down in Winter Garden's jurisdiction mm-hmm. by the cemetery, and it was mm-hmm. the sergeant that pulled me over, not this officer. The sergeant's name is right. nowhere on the report. And the sergeant's the one that made contact with me first and said he was looking for me. So, but his name's on the re- not on the report, right? But he, correct, his name's not on the report. So he passed four of my officers and came directly to me, right? And got out of the vehicle and said my name, and then said my yeah. motorcycle was stolen. When right. they told me that the officer stolen. left the, com- the the officer left the laptop open in the cruiser. And on the laptop screen, it showed Kawasaki Concourse 1400 registered to Metro State Special Services owner, Jeremy Duet. Mm. But it didn't have stolen. Right. It had a valid know. registration. Who's your lawyer? Back to I'm that here. guy, right? Yeah. I'm here, yeah. So if my body camera disappears? Yeah, if it's, if it's been er- erased, you're right. Because I always videotape, and all the four guys, they videotape too. And again, for well, you they to have pass, some of it. They have some of for, it. Right. But for nothing. you to pass my officers that uh, are wearing they came the same up, thing. right? Huh? And they had it on, and then he threatened to arrest them if they didn't leave. Right. Why? Because he I didn't mean, want them on scene. Right. Right. And now you, and then, yeah. So here's the next That's part pretty, that you're not going to yeah. believe. Recycle called my cell phone, my other cell phone, because he thought, Ron, you might have it. And uh-huh. I, it was there on scene. One of the officers accidentally answered it and left it on accidentally. And the officers came together by my phone, and Alan, Stutters, Recycle, and David all heard the conversation. And they all swear that they're going to write a statement. They all, the, the sergeant said, well, the bike's not really stolen. And we pulled him over, and now he's in custody in the back, so we got to come up with something and make something. Really? I swear to fucking God, is my well, price and my witness. to get them to the lawyer tomorrow. No shit. On Monday. Yep. God. Recycle told Rania she's freaking out. That's crazy. So they heard everything on the phone, and they're all willing to write a statement saying that because Recycle put it on speakerphone and held it out so everyone could listen. Yep. And they said, we need to make something up. All of a sudden, that's when the uh, the resisting arrest came up first. And then they started like, oh, well, his badge is this, and his badge is that, and they started right, taking right, pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And then they said, oh, we're going to do that. So so <laughs> the next funny thing is this. So I just said to the officer, I was like, so wait a minute, I can't get my stuff back? He's like, no, your stuff's impounded okay. for evidence. I was like, oh but my motorcycle's not? And he's like, no, you can pick that up anytime you want. So wait a minute. Right. I supposedly impersonate a police officer on my motorcycle in my gear, but you only held my uniform as evidence, but you let my motorcycle, which is the vehicle that I was conducing the escort on, you let, you're letting well, that go? Well, they have to because they said because it was they stolen know and they back down. Yeah. Right, because yeah. they know they're wrong. Yeah. And then they charged me. Guess what else they charged me with? Resisting arrest, arrest uh, impersonating law enforcement officer, and using a two-way communication device. Yeah, what's that about? 
using a radio a on radio? the escort. Yeah. You can use a radio. That's no not shit. shit. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No shit. Are you getting out tonight? Huh? Are you getting out tonight? Yeah, Ron, you already paid bond. It was All only $400. Right. So, I mean, but the money is going to come in the – if the state doesn't just drop everything – because Amir talks to them and they actually file, this is going to be expensive because I'm going to trial to the door. Yeah. Because unless they deleted my video camera, I have every piece of proof that I never pulled anyone over. But in the state you, know, of Florida, you know, they might erase it. If they do, if they erase it, then that shows that they're guilty. But that doesn't mean that you'll win anything. I mean, if they handle the evidence, yeah. Mom, that's a huge no-no in the state of Florida. It is. It is. It is. And here's the thing. In the state of Florida, to impersonate a police officer, you have to have three things. One, you have to dress or act as if, which obviously dress the way we are. Then you have to have something on you that says police, sheriff, parole, corrections, probation okay. officer, state agent, you know, something like that. Then you have to make somebody do something, like pull them over, make get take their driver's license from you, get a discount, get a free dis, free meal. So but it's obvious you were doing a funeral escort. You were in front of the even, cemetery. They even put that in the report. The best part is, is the whole impersonating thing. I'll read it to you. Here, listen. Do what? This is the only thing they have for the impersonating. Everything else is about the traffic, about the funeral escort, about how I went over a line. That's that's what everything says here. Yeah. But then it says, Duet was wearing a law enforcement motor officer similar apparel to include a shirt with a badge like a bulletproof vest and a helmet with a badge like that says motor officer written on it in plain view wearing a of duty belt. That's it. That's, that's it. That's that's what they're basing their impersonating law enforcement officer on. There's nothing else in this report at all about me pulling anyone over, using a siren, pulling people out of the way, nothing. Yeah. Well, you know, unfortunately, they can arrest people all day long. That doesn't mean the prosecution's going to let them do anything with it. Right, but I demanded, it on a, I demanded a lieutenant. Because I said this sergeant has a history with me, has a bad history with me. Mm -hmm. I'm demanding a lieutenant or a captain, somebody that outranks him or an equal sergeant that's in the area to go over this because this isn't right. I'm telling you, I have on my phone the registration, which verifies my bike's not stolen. Right, right. And we're doing a funeral escort, so you had no reason to pull us over in the So why did they think it? I mean, wouldn't have the report had to come up when they ran your tag as a stolen vehicle? Right. That's my point. I mean, why do they, how can they say it's stolen? But that's because the then point. there would have to be right. a, a, that's a what Recycle out said. Or something. Recycle told me before I even told him what they were talking about. Yeah. I called him just now, and he's like, yeah, they said your bike was single 10, which means stolen. And then they were talking amongst themselves, and then they said, well, the bike's not, it's not really single 10. I just said that. <laughs> you have one minute well, remaining. I love you. All right, I love you too. Bye. Call me tomorrow. All, All right. right. Bye. Bye, bye. I swear to God, I didn't do anything. I was on a funeral escort. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, this is what happened. The sergeant, I got in trouble with internal affairs when he was with Orange County. Okay, he got in trouble with Orange County. He left Orange County. He got a job with Windermere Police Department as a sergeant. So so this sergeant that I got in trouble with Orange County got a job with Wind- Windermere. And I didn't even know it was him in the truck. We started doing the escort. We're going down the road. I'm at a stop sign. All of a sudden, he, pull, he pulls up on me. They come lights and sirens racing up down the wrong side of the road. They come up yeah. on me, and he, said, he jumps out of the truck. He's like, hey, Jeremy DeWitt. And I was like, oh, wow, sergeant. How are you? I said, I haven't seen you since you left Orange County. What are you doing here? And he's like, oh, I missed you, so I came and got a job here. That's exactly what he said on my body camera. Um, if you're trying to come back to the signal on the motorcycle. Oh, really? Uh, do you verify that? 
Florida Honda Motorcycle 2005 model. 10426 low 10 out of OPD. Uh, Ryan, are you fixing one over here? What? Yeah, he's calling for his buddies to come help him. That's not going to happen until we verify on this signal, Ken. Back today. Yeah. 372, should the first character be... It's possible. I can't see all the way down. There might be another one down there. That's the VIN on the Kawasaki. That does come back to a Kawasaki? 10-4. Is that registered to uh, Jeremy DeWitt or Metro State? Stand by, because I ran the VIN, and it's not coming back signal 10. The tag is. Just stand by one moment. If you just run the yeah, 26. He's advising that the tag was one of their bikes that was stolen, and so maybe the tag was never taken back out of the system, but they recovered the bike, I guess. Temp for that, maybe, because if you just run that VIN out of Florida, you do get that Kawasaki registered to the Metro State Special Services Vehicle Protection UNI. Is there a tag assigned with that VIN? That's that. 26. Well, when we run the tag by itself, it comes back on the Honda that's signal 10. That's 10 for it. Running the tag and tell type will bring you the white Honda, which is signal 10. When you run the VIN, you get the Kawasaki with that same tag assigned to it. So when the Honda was stolen, it had to have had that tag on it? Yeah, that's what he's advising. When it was stolen, it had that tag. They recovered the tag, but I guess not the bike. And then they registered it on this bike. That's because the Honda was stolen and we got the tag back from the Orange County Sheriff's Office and then we registered it to that motorcycle. And that motorcycle has that tag. And the Department of Motor Vehicles issued the registration sticker for that tag. Huh? Alright. In the car, dude. I'm just wondering why when we run the tag it would come back still to the Honda if it's registered to the Kawasaki. Stand by, I'm honestly not sure. That was probably an issue when it was recovered and a teletype officer removed it. They must have not canceled it correctly. All right, talk to everybody. Go ahead. That had to have been an issue on the teletype operator that removed the bike initially part. They must not have done it correctly out of OPD. In regards to this bike, since the tag is still showing as signal 10 on that Honda, should we do a cancellation request? Negative. We didn't enter the item in the system. They're going to have to get with OPD and make the clarifications that they have their vehicle back. Okay, 26. So we don't need to do anything then? That's simple. We don't have to do anything. But if you want, have the driver of the vehicle contact OPD right now. I don't know if we have to send a hit confirmation, but if the item was never supposed to be in the system, then we're not needed at all. Yeah, the driver's uh, secured right now. 10 4. We're going to contact OPD just to clarify this incident. Stand by. 26, thank you. PM. Yeah, I'm like. This is just getting. The driver's secure. He's like. He's like, I don't know what's going on. This is my car. Orlando Police, this is on our recorded line. Hey, this is Katie. I'm calling with the Windermere Police Department. Could I get transferred over to your teletype? Yeah, one moment. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, this is Katie. I'm calling with the Windermere Police Department. Um, I'm calling because we're out with a motorcycle that has a tag attached that's coming back stolen or coming back to a stolen vehicle that you guys entered, um, but it's on a different vehicle, and the owner of the vehicle says that he did recover his vehicle, but I just don't think he contacted you guys to get it taken out. Okay. Well, um, so would you still have to send us a... Do you want to hit confirmation? Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a run. I just wanted to make sure, because it's just... It, the way it came back was just a little bit weird. Um, hang on. So the person that has the vehicle is the owner? Well, yes, but it's just kind of weird because when you run the VIN, the VIN's not coming back stolen, but if you run the tag, it comes back as the stolen vehicle. So it's almost like the vehicle itself is removed. Like the VIN and everything, it that is. doesn't come back stolen. It's just the tag. 
as a so stolen vehicle. A, so is the VIN that the um, tag in the stolen, is the VIN the same as the VIN that's on the registration in the stolen report, in the stolen um, entry? Um, he sorry. Just a hey, sorry about that. It just looks like it's confusion on our side, too. So my officer conducted a 1050 on tag number. That shows that tag shows assigned to a Kawasaki motorcycle. However, the motorcycle we're out with, let me see, is it? Yeah, that's the motorcycle we're out with. And the VIN number assigned to it is clean. But the one that you guys entered in, is showing on a white Honda motorcycle with a totally different VIN. Mm. That's where we're wanting to see, like, what the error is, because it's not, it's two different kind of makes, two different kinds of VINs that don't match the signal 10 entry. Right. So most likely um, that tag was on that vehicle that's in the entry. Um, that tag was on the vehicle at the time of when it was stolen. So that's yeah. Probably why it was entered like that. And the tag that, sorry, the vehicle it is actually assigned to, it was not stolen. That's probably why you're not getting anything back when you run the VIN only. But um, if you just found if you just found the tag only, you can still send us a hit confirmation. Just put tag found only. That way we can get the tag out of the system because the vehicle um, until we hear anything. Technically, it's still stolen. Technically, it's still stolen. Okay, yeah, because I'll, I'll clarify it in the hit confirmation. So okay. we are out with the white Kawasaki motorcycle with the same tag but different VIN number, and we do have an arrest on this. So I'll, I'll just send all the details into the hit confirmation then. Okay. All right then. All right. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. 29P is negative with a valid DL and motorcycle endorsement. He is listed as a sexual offender. Is that the driver? Yeah, 10 4, Sean, 10 15. 10 4. The 10 15 on the driver, can you send his uh, criminal history over to the PD? Can you fax it over, please? 10 4. And just taking a 14. OPD said to go ahead and send over the hit confirmation since it's the tag that's still stolen in the system, even though it's a different motorcycle. That's a for. Right now we're going to have a uh, resisting, and we may have more work on that now. I think we're confused on this tag. Is it signal nine or is it not? The information I provided to the operator, I told her the tag is entered stolen with the white Honda. However, we're out with a black motorcycle with a different VIN from the stolen tag from the stolen vehicle. The operator suggested to send over a hit confirmation for the stolen tag. And they provided information on the victim being a Jeremy Charles DeWitt. That's who, yeah, it's him, we have him, he's 15 on other charges. So um, I think we're just gonna leave the tag on the bike and, and let it go like that. Thanks. It's 10 4. It was per OPD's request because it was signal 10 in the system. They wanted us to send over hit confirmation. All we needed is a case number signed, and we'll be sending over the recovery information so they can remove it out of the system. Okay, they uh, should have the case number of the call already. Uh, that's channel 1 to the. 10 4, we got it. He advised OPD gave him the tag back when they recovered it. So is that something they should have already handled? Ten four. I'm not sure exactly. Okay, so now they want us to handle it. I explained to the operator what we had, and how we had a different vehicle from what was entered in the system. She requested that we went ahead and send the hit confirmation, so they can remove it out of the system. As far as him removing it or contacting OPD, he needs to follow up with them to get further and see where they went wrong. Okay, so just give them the case number that's already in the call, and uh, the tag's going to go with the bike, which is both owned by Jeremy DeWitt, who is 1015, and then he can figure out the rest of it. That's 4 I think we covered our end already. Just have Jeremy contact OPD to see what happened. I already let him know that. Thanks.